morning friends. I hope you all are having an amazing Monday so far. Um, it is such a gorgeous day today. I have kind of had a late start to this day, but I have decided that it's going to be kind of a relaxing um, Monday. So yeah. Um, also, this is <laughs> being filmed on Monday and I need to post this video today yet. So yeah, if it's a little bit later you'll know why <laughs> but I don't know somehow I just got a little bit behind on filming and just everything and a little bit of lack of inspiration and also I wanted to say last weekend was Thanksgiving for us Canadians and so I did not have time to get a video out so yeah that's why there was no video video out last weekend um I was just quite busy hanging out with family and friends and we just had an amazing weekend so yeah anyways this morning I wanted to make some pumpkin cinnamon rolls I know I've talked about them before on this channel and I really really love them and I think it would just be fun to make some cinnamon rolls and possibly bring some to our neighbors it's always super fun um so yeah, that's kind of my plan for today. It's like, it's really nice and sunny out, but it's also like chilly and windy and it just feels like an actual fall day. So I think that calls for some cozy baking. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to just show you the recipe as I make it, but also I will have it like written out in the description for you guys. If you want to make it, it is just super good. Also, I feel like I still have a morning face or something like that like I got up a couple hours ago but I kind of have a cold and I don't know somehow it's just taking a long time for my morning face to go away so it's just what you get today so anyways I hope you enjoy this video I'm really excited about making these cinnamon rolls so like usual I got all my ingredients out already um, here is just a list of ingredients that you need. So it's pretty straightforward. I got my um, pumpkin puree. It looks a little sketchy for some reason, but anyways, yeah. Just gonna mix up the dough. large dough now it has definitely risen for more than an hour but anyways I was talking on the phone with my mom and so it got kind of carried away but anyways we're gonna make our cinnamon rolls now um, and yeah that's all <laughs> okay so it's kind of cutting off my head It's still cutting off my head. I kind of wanted to chat while I make it, but I can hardly have my head and the cinnamon rolls on the, t on the shot. Okay, I think this works. Anyways, first of all, got my dough here. I have melted butter here to like spread over the dough after I have it rolled out and then I have some brown sugar mixed with pumpkin pie spice so I'm just gonna work on rolling it all out and um, I just thought maybe it would be interesting if I would kind of chat with you guys instead of always just doing like a time lapse when I do these types of things so yeah I don't really this is like so different for me and so I don't even know like where to start or exactly what to talk about, but I just feel like I just like had some things on my mind and my heart and 
yeah kind of where it got started was with how like I've just been feeling like just like lately but especially like last night and this morning I just woke up with like such a heavy heart and I think that's quite common nowadays like I'm just like gonna be honest nobody I mean this world sucks right now like <laughs> just gonna be honest um and like I was gonna vlog like this morning and like this afternoon and stuff like that or just film myself and I never want to like portray that my life is perfect and that I'm happy all the time because I certainly am not and like I feel like just yesterday and today I just kind of have been struggling to just you know stay completely strong which is totally normal and it's totally fine and I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I just wanted to say that I didn't quite feel right just trying to film a video and then just act like I'm just like super happy. Like, I mean, I'm happy. I'm like, honestly, I feel really joyful and like, but you can still feel like heavy hearted and kind of sad even when you do feel like happy like yeah I guess I kind of just miss normal and I kind of just miss what life used to be before all of this COVID stuff I never like want my channel to be about any sort of like political stuff or I don't talk oh I don't talk about that stuff in general and I for sure don't want that like on my channel at all. I want this to be like a happy place where you can come and just like be inspired and like um I don't know. I just want to like be able to brighten people's moods and just kind of just be a light in this crazy messed up world and like that is like truly my vision for this channel but yeah sometimes like all normal humans you just have a bit of a hard time sometimes it's just sad how we lost what we used to have and like just so many of like freedoms and just different things and anyways I still don't know exactly what I'm trying to say, but pretty much I was just I'm just saying that I was feeling a little sad and just trying to you know like not be I guess you could say a hypocrite and pretend like I'm super happy all the time and like anyways I'm probably gonna edit a lot of this stuff out but because it's <laughs> so rambly. But I guess I just felt like I should be honest um, that not everything is just sunshine and a bed of roses. Does that even make sense? Not everything is sunshine over here. <laughs> I think it's just important to find things that you enjoy doing and just focus on the good like take care of yourself mentally so that you can be better for the people around you and the people that you love and yeah this has been such a random random rant and I don't even know where I'm going with it or where it all came from but I guess I was just thinking about those things. I just wanted to say some of the some of these things, like, and yeah, just know that if you're feeling discouraged by, huh, I get so emotional talking about these things. If you're feeling discouraged just by the things that are happening in the world these days, like, just know that you're not alone, and things will get better one day.
anyways, that was an extremely long rant or something. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys didn't mind listening to that. But anyways, just had that on my mind and on my heart and I just wanted to talk about it. Anyways, I have made a lot of cinnamon rolls, quite a lot more than normal. I have like three pie plates full and then one 9 by 13 so I think we're going to let them rise for a little bit and then um, I'm going to bake them. I am honestly so excited about these. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna put my camera on the tripod, but I just took um, the first batch of cinnamon rolls out of the oven and whew, <laughs> I just took the first batch of cinnamon rolls out of the oven and they look so yummy. They're so nice and golden brown. Um, the recipe actually calls for like a cream cheese icing, um, but it so happens that I don't have cream cheese and I really didn't want to run to the store for it. And I also have a little bit of icing here from making some donuts the other day. It has like pumpkin pie spice in there. It's just like a normal icing. And so I think I'm just going to spread it on there. Just use that this time. I think it'll be almost as good. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have the last two pans baking, so yeah, we're going to definitely have to, I don't know, maybe freeze them or bring some away or something like that because we're definitely not going to get them all eaten before um, they're too old. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and ice these. my coffee table because this is often where I eat snacks for some reason I'm not sure but I'm about to try this cinnamon roll and I have my cup of coffee here and we're gonna do a little taste test I mean I've tasted these before but it's gonna be different with this icing That is very, very good. Any sort of fresh cinnamon roll is just so amazing. Um, it just always hits the spot, especially on this windy fall day. <laughs> She's just sitting here watching me. She wants, she always wants my food so badly. You cannot have that. You cannot have that. <laughs> um, anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I think it's going to be a bit of a shorter video, so for that I am sorry. Um, but, yeah, and thank you for listening to my rant. I hope that it just made you feel like you're not alone, and I think every person on this planet has a lot of those moments, and, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, and it will be okay. Everything will be okay. So, yeah. I hope you all have just an amazing rest of your day. I'm just going to drink my coffee and watch some Gilmore Girls and get this video uploaded and maybe do some work outside like raking leaves. I think that would be so fun and refreshing. <laughs> Harper's little butt is so funny. She's looking at the window. Harper. Every time we leave, she stands there and watches us go out the window. It always makes me feel so sorry for her, but... Yes! <laughs> You're so 
cute. You're so cute. Anyways, enough of that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and that you just stay inspired and encouraged. And yeah, I cannot wait to see you next Monday.